feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign Welcome back to FAQ The Madness. We respectfully exercise our First Amendment right to publish interactions with government officials through the unbiased view of a camera. Let's jump into another rep. Recording. What is up, everybody? It is your boy, Craig. I am Fact the Madness. Happy to see you and bring to you another video. This particular video is a little bit different than anything I've done. And it's, I guess it might be coming out of me because I'm excited about the new type of videos that I'm going to be creating, um, which are basically reactions to my feed. Um, you guys have heard the term echo chambers and, you know, all those things, basically the notion that when you are in a community or a group of people, when you're exposed to certain information, then that information is presented to individuals and the group in its entirety on some level. And, and it's kind of circulated in kind of like an echo chamber. I have a feed. I know the people I associate with, they have a feed. And oftentimes I see um, the same type of content being disseminated in the same group that I am. So I just want to be cognizant of the fact that I have certain information coming to me and it might be influenced by the type of content that I consume. And I consume a lot of content. So I guess I'm just being a little bit transparent with that as, as it relates to letting you all see the stuff that I see and then give reactions because sometimes I might have my furled eyebrows and not say or do anything and not come out in video. So I compile all these things, all these videos. And sometimes well, I, I watch a bunch of content and sometimes um, I will put them in the playlist. Well, I intend on at one time kind of looking at all these and kind of commenting on them. The reason why this video exists is because the logistics of me filming these is kind of complicated, but I figured out a kind of a way to simplify how I edit it, and I use DaVinci Resolve. They, they are not a sponsor of mine, but it is very good software, very easy to use, and there are tons of videos out there about how to use it, how to do little tricks and, and those kind of things, and as I discover some of those things, maybe I'll do videos about them as well. So. Basically, if you imagine my setup, you can see in the background my studio. My studio is an actual studio in a room, um, which is in the background. Right now, I happen to be away from that on a different computer. But I have I previously filmed uh, a little portion, you know, I don't know, it's maybe, let's just say 20 seconds long. It might might be longer. And then I looped it. And then I put that behind me and I put myself out. This, the software that I'm using, another piece of software, is StreamYard. Again, not a sponsor, but very good um, software. You can do a whole bunch of things. And I'll put a link down in the description so that if you'd like, you can start creating or making content like I'm doing. So that's one thing. And then in my studio, um, not behind me, but in front of me, uh, I have uh, some lighting and I'll probably do a run through of my studio sometime uh, right now. It's sufficient for me to describe what you see. So I have the computers obviously in front of me, uh, some lighting above me to the side, uh, my microphone, which uh, right now you don't see because I'm not actually in the studio, but on the video that you that I'm creating, you will see a microphone because it's sitting off to the side for me. So couple of different angles, couple of uh, stuff in the way, a uh, couple of things that I want to do when it comes out to the video. And I think by the time that, well, you may not see, maybe I'll release these kind of around the same time, but I'll make it so that you can see the finished product and then kind of the things that I point out, maybe 
put it all at once, but who knows? We'll see how that comes out. But so what I wanted to show you very quickly is a couple of different things. Now, right now, this this stuff that you see right now, these blocks, and I, I understand that you may or may not have ever edited a video before. So there are some basics that come along with uh, editing videos. And if you are here on this particular video, you probably have those down pat. So this is really like an organizational type video. So I have my StreamYard uh, recordings. And this is this particular one on the bottom, this one right here, excuse me, which says uh, webcam is just the uh, the recording of facing towards me from my webcam, which is also, which is in front of me. That is going to be one that I use to create a, a bigger picture of myself. I will also probably utilize that same strip somewhere else and maybe zoom a little closer or put it in black and white or something like that. But you can use that panel, that strip, as um you know a different look or a different angle so to speak and it has its own sound so we so stream are recorded that separately then on top and you can look and see what it is <coughs> so this is what this looks like no oh, i'm gonna have to so i use d to to disable that particular track but then i'm putting this on here now I'm going to have to crop this a little bit because this is like a curtain that you see. So if I zoomed in just a little bit, oh, wait, sorry. If I zoomed in just a little bit, then it gets rid of that curtain part. So I'm going to do that. In fact, I'll keep it like that because I'm going to have to do it anyway. And that goes throughout the whole, the whole uh, clip. So uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to be able to use this the StreamYard piece in in a particular function. I'm going to have it function in a certain way. Now, something that you may or may not know about the DaVinci Resolve is that it allows you to be able to have tabs that you can edit. So in this case, I have my StreamYard edit, which is right there. I could go through and edit this, but what I also needed to do is I needed to be able to utilize the other cameras that I was talking about and also my Zoom H6, which does sound for me. So I have my Zoom H6, and I might do some video that, 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 that shows you kind of what I'm doing. At the end of the day, I am no expert in editing, but I'm able to put some content out in a certain way, and part of it is being organized. So the organization of what I'm doing is kind of what I discovered today because I, I tried to do it in a couple of different ways, and now I just broke it down into basically the simplest functions that I needed to do. All right, so I'm going to make these just a little bit a little bit bigger so you can see what they are. That's the sound. And then also here, I'm going to do the same thing, make these a little bit bigger. All right, so here's kind of the organization of what my clips look like. Uh, all right. So we have down at the bottom, we have webcam StreamYard, Scream uh, StreamYard. Then I have the track wave, which is my Zoom. And another, my Zoom has two different tracks, I believe. Uh, yeah, two different tracks. And then I have my, uh, this is my, my, my camera, which I use a Canon. Uh, and it's sound as well. Then up top, you have this, the same tracks that I had previously, which were my um, StreamYard screen and StreamYard webcam. And then I have, again, this this track right here. These two tracks, they, they separated into two, are my forward-facing camera or facing towards me and its sound. So... What I did was, now there are a couple of ways that you can sync the sound and use different clips, but in this case, there's a specific thing that I wanted to do. So I basically line these up all in order so that 
the sound comes up and you'll see how I created the sound uh, key, if you will. And it comes at the beginning. You will be able to hear it, I believe. And it doesn't matter what you see on the screen because I'm going to edit those so that they show different angles at different times. But you should hear wait, a clap. And right now I'm just kind of setting up which one I'm starting to record. And this is upstairs in the studio. Got it. That look. That stage. I like that one. I like this one. So I did one, two, three, four. That shows up in a couple of different ways. Let me see if I can kind of uh, make it more apparent. Um, gonna zoom in here. Okay, so you can see right these little one, two, three, four right here, and then right there it's the same thing. And then this is the reaction screen stream yard, but the sound doesn't really come in. I'm not gonna use that anyway. So I have three different areas where I can pick the sound from four, four different areas. I line them up according to this little strip right here. That's for sound. And then according to everything else, I might need to pick sound depending on which view I'm going to be using. So in this case, I already, let's take that off. In this case, right now I have this, that view, let's disable that. Then I have this view, which has me in front of the camera, but with the background taken out, kind of like what you see here, down in the bottom corner right here, but with a different background. This is, this is the same thing, except for I took everything out and I just put the screen that I'm, that I'm showing. So let's see if I can make That's it so that it moves. more than what I would like. So I figure that if I'm going to spend and I can time, clean up this little area time, around, I'm going to, I'm gonna... but uh, anyway, you would see, let's go to a part where you can see that everything's moving. Let's go a little bit. Further. I just want you to, I just want you to kind of see, Ooh. see what I'm talking about. Uh, let's get to here. Maybe it's there. Oh yeah. Play. Mm. And one thing that's yeah, Dev talking, it was Devastate. Sorry, I just I could have planned this portion out a little better, and I might edit this part out. But I just need to get to. Let's just get to. I'm just trying to get to a part where you can see everything moving behind me. I mean, it's literally. Okay. okay. There we go. All right. Oh. Okay. Okay, next video. So it's it's all moving. And in fact, the sound is down here somewhere. Let's see if I can find the sound for this. It's I'm going to have to move myself out of the way a little bit, make myself a little smaller, all those kind of things. But the 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 crux of why I wanted the uh, the jewel that I want to let share with you guys is that before I even started really putting things in place, I have an idea of what I want to do. But before I did that, I organized it in this way. So, I, I, I mean, you know, that may be a little long-winded, but you guys can appreciate the fact that it seems now that I can go through and edit this video fairly quickly now that it is organized and everything is in place so that I can just cut, paste, and do all the things that I need to do. So hopefully the product that comes out will be my new series, if you will, which are going to be 
back the uh, reactions episode one is going to be coming out and from there i'll do you know periodically the same type of thing hopefully this was beneficial to you and if it was then give us a like and maybe even a share and if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing typically i say you know whether you be on the left hand side or the right hand side as far as i'm concerned all i ask is that you meet me somewhere in the middle and that is a fact have a good one my name is craig this is fact of madness peace Thank you for watching. If you have a video you'd like for us to cover, use the submit link in the description or pinned comment. If you enjoyed this one, consider subscribing and hit the bell to be notified of future content. Be sure to check out all of the other content we have for your edutainment. We will continue to respectfully exercise our First Amendment rights and published interactions we have with government officials. Remember to like, share, and leave a comment. It's the easiest way for you to let us know your thoughts about our channel. I wanna be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place, no, this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it, the noose it fits, some loose shit, a stupid myth You choose to live or choose to dip, you choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift, oh.